Hello guys, it's KN again, and today I'm here to just showcase this website uh, by Christopher Hess, <laughs> if I can pronounce his name. And uh, as he says here, he made a TensorFlow port of pix to pix uh, which is a research by Isola and his crew uh, about literally uh, a way to translate images into other images. Uh, you can see an example down here. So you can see that uh, on this side, on the right side here, we have a realistic uh, picture of a building. And on the other side, we have a kind of sketch uh, of the same building. So uh, the idea here is you sketch something uh, and it becomes real, <laughs> if, I, if I can say so. So the, the website is interactive and uh, uh, I'm not going to start with this example because I think it's too complex and I want to go for the simple and fun stuff. But basically here, uh, it, it allows you to place different components and this is going to generate this image in real time. This is pretty amazing, guys. Uh, let me scroll down here so you can have an idea of uh, what I'm seeing. Uh, you can see here a, a second example. So the system here is trained uh, to draw cats, like you draw the cat and uh, the cat is generated. So the first thing I wanted to try with this system is if I draw uh, the same thing uh, twice, will it generate the exact same cat? So let's test this out by clicking the process. By the way, uh, once again, this is real time. This is happening now, <laughs> no cuts. So as you can see here, it will generate the, the same shape of the cat, but the, the colors change, which is interesting. So, uh, with no further ado, I now will draw <laughs> will draw the, the cat, okay? So, I will try to make a kind of uh, cartoonish uh, cat here, with big eyes, and uh, let's hope for the best. By the way, uh, I am I'm drawing uh, with my mouse, so not the ideal device to be doing that kind of stuff. But let's see, let's see what I can come up with. Let's make a big face. <laughs> oh my! Uh, it's not easy to to draw with this thing. So let's do a little chin here, maybe a thin neck here. And I don't know, let's make a little body here. Um, and here comes the legs. <laughs> it's super weird. Um, let's do some mustache here. I don't know if, 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 if it's called a mustache in English when it's for animals. But anyways, you guys, you guys know what I mean. Let's, let's try to add some detail here. Because I'm not sure uh, what the algorithm uh, will do uh, if we add details like this really try to, to find out some structure for this or maybe color this. I'm really not sure, I'm really experimenting. So process, and let's see. Wow, <laughs> that's an abomination. <laughs> but I guess that's what I draw here. So yeah, a cartoonish cat and it was perfectly uh, textured. It's so impressive how uh, the system is capable of finding out what what the eyes are, you know. It knows that those those little circles here are actually the eyes, that this is the nose. Um, I don't believe the, 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 the mustache I drawn here, I draw, um, was interpreted as such. So it doesn't care. If you, if you do things like this, it, the system, the algorithm doesn't care. The ears are so perfect with the texturing and the body, I don't think the body is really working. Maybe I messed it up because I, I draw this, these things here, but anyways, um, let's try uh, drawing something else. Let's try drawing another cat in a different position. Maybe like this with the ears and uh, let's make a little paw here. Oh, I messed up, <laughs> but that's okay. And uh, another pawn here, and the tail. 
I'm not sure the, the system is going to... Maybe, maybe, maybe the algorithm will think that those two are pawns and not a tail and a pawn. Um, let's draw an eye here. Little eye. I wonder what happens if I don't, if I don't draw the eye and a little nose here. Okay, let's try to process this. Wow! <laughs> I'm not sure this is a cat. I, I, I Possibly I created a new animal here. Looks like a goat, I don't know. Let's try maybe to add some extra detail, like a second paw here. It's really hard to draw with the mouse. Let's try the, the, the eraser. Uh, and now line. So, yeah, second pawn here. Uh, the other pawn here. Let's try to add some detail just to see if the if the algorithm cares about those little details. I know that it doesn't care about those details here. So, process. Wow, <laughs> very interesting, very real. I, I, it doesn't look like a cat because uh, like the, the face, uh, I messed up the face maybe, but it sure looked like a real animal here and uh, the algorithm actually takes into account the tail, it, it can differentiate uh, the, the tail, it can tell the tail from the, the pawns here, so really interesting. So let's look at a few extra random examples here, just, wow, <laughs> really interesting. Well, let me try something crazy. What if I draw a squarish thing here that doesn't have anything to do with a cat? What will the system do? Wow! <laughs> really, really strange. Really, really strange. But anyways, I gave it a strange input. Uh, nothing should really be expected. Uh, and there are uh, other uh, examples in the website, but I just wanted to quickly showcase this website because it's really cool. Um, this this uh, research by Isola and it's cool. There is a link in the video description if you guys want to play with this. Um, it will, uh, if, you, if you find this, you will also be able to access the paper. I haven't read the paper yet, but I will. And well, hope you guys have fun with that. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye.